for this week's MPTE clinical file. We have our therapist, Brenda, and Brenda is assessing a patient with a recent CVA. The therapist is looking to utilize an outcome measure to track improvement and to determine the patient's current ability to perform activities of daily living, including feeding, bowel, and bladder continence. All right, which of the following measures is the most appropriate? So we have A, the short form, 36. B, stroke rehabilitation assessment of movement. C is Barthel index. And D is the incontinence quality of life instrument. All right, so for this specific case, we gotta go ahead, get in here, knock this down, all right? And so first of all, we have, our, our therapist, uh, Brenda, and Brenda is assessing a patient with a recent CVA. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Not a lot of craziness going on there. Let's go to the next sentence. It says, the therapist is looking to utilize an outcome measure to track improvement and to determine the patient's current ability to perform ADLs. All right, so that's important because we need to slow up for a moment, Colby. We need to slow up for a moment, Mallory, and ask ourselves, well, what does that really mean to us as far as this whole outcome measure to track improvement and determine the patient's current uh, ability to perform these ADLs? What does that mean to us? And you should be thinking, well, this is related to a functional outcome measure that I would be trying to utilize here. I need to use a functional outcome measure because I'm looking for ADLs, including feeding and bowel and bladder continence. All right, something that's functionally based. So our question stem, the last sentence of the question says, which of the following measures is the most appropriate? All right, again, we have A, which is the short form 36. B is the stroke rehabilitation assessment of movement, also known as STREAM. C is Barthel Index, and D is the incontinence quality of life instrument. All right, first off, let's look at A, the short form 36. First thing I'm gonna tell you about this one is that it's a patient reported survey. Y'all hear me, right? Patient reported survey. It's a measure of the patient's health status and it includes a bunch of different uh, sections or things that we're looking at, like vitality, body pain, uh, the physical uh, role of the patient, the emotional role, the social role, the mental health, a lot of different factors related to the patient's health status. Because what we're really trying to do is we're trying to get a general look at all these different factors that affect the patient's health. But the key thing that I want to let y'all know here is that the short form 36 is looking at health status and it's a patient reported survey. That's important because just a few moments ago, I told you that we're looking for some type of functional outcome measure, right? And this is patient reported. All right, so keep that in the back of your mind. I don't like short form right now, but let's go ahead and look at B. B says stroke rehabilitation assessment of movement, also known as the stream. All right, so the stream is a type of measure that we would be looking for, something that's more performance-based, it's functional-based, um, it's used for a patient with a stroke, so I'm already liking that piece. But at the same time, it's used to assess coordination, functional mobility, and range of motion primarily. And that's for both the upper extremities and lower extremities. All right. So it's looking at all these different factors, but notice how I didn't say that it's targeting the ADLs. It's targeting feeding or bowel and bladder continence. I never said that it was targeting those things. And most specifically, it does not target incontinence. And that's one of the things that the question has in it right here super important. So don't uh, disregard that. Already, I can tell you B is going to be out because it does not address the question. Let's look at C. C says Barthol Index. All right, this is a very common one right here. Barthol Index is another one of these functional outcome measures, so I already like it, and it measures the degree of assistance required by the individual and it's, it's going to be based on mobility and their self-care ADL. So let me specify what I'm really talking about. I'm talking about my, my mnemonic that I use, A, B, C, D, T, T, all right, which stands for ambulation, bathing, continence, dressing, toileting, 
and transferring. All right. And so the Barthel index looks at all of those things as well as, you know, what type of assistance is my patient needing for those? All right. So it's looking at the degree of assistance. It also looks at stair negotiation and it looks at feeding as well. All right. And so the Barthel index is exactly what I want in this situation because I know it addresses continence, I know it addresses feeding, and it definitely addresses the ADLs. Right now, C is looking mighty pretty, but we don't know just yet. We got to confirm this. All right. Let's take a look at D. D says incontinence quality of life instrument. Now I want you to think back to yourself. You may or may not be familiar with this type of instrument, but I want you to think to yourself if you are familiar with it and then what type of outcome measure is this? All right? And you should be saying to yourself, well, this is another one of these patient reported uh, outcome measures where it takes like five, 10 minutes. It's like a little questionnaire patients filling it out about their, uh, their, their, their psychosocial impacts, their social embarrassment related to the incontinence. Also any type of limiting behaviors related to the incontinence. All right. Or the incontinence. So here's the deal. D is a patient reported quality of life instrument it is not functionally based and so i can already eliminate d because first of all it doesn't address adls it doesn't address feeding it's not a functional outcome measure and so i eliminate d our best answer is c all right if you didn't catch on to you know how i was analyzing this question one of the major things i want you to remember about outcome measures is a lot of them can be categorized they can be categorized as patient-reported, patient-performed outcome measures where they're, they're actually filling out a questionnaire of a survey, kind of like an Oswestry disability index or a neck disability index, an incontinence quality of life instrument. Those are different types of instruments that the patient will fill out. But there's also other ones that we may have, like maybe the FEM scale. All right, and giving your patient a FEM score or the Barthel Index or the, the STREAM, the Stroke Rehabilitation Assessment of Movement. Those are ones that we're basing the, the, the final answer, the final assessment off of their function, what we see, and we're grading them. All right, so there's a big distinction between those two types of outcome measures. And if you look at this question, you can see that we're going the route of trying to assess a patient's improvement trying to determine their functional capability related to activities of daily living. So that is the type of outcome measure that I'm looking for. If you want to excel in the department of outcome measures on the MPTE, you have to understand the top outcome measures that are out there. All right. And you have to also understand, you know, what those outcome measures do specifically. If you got this question wrong, that's my advice to you. But I never want to leave you just with that. What I want to say is if you are on the podcast right now, I want you to check your show notes because in the show notes, there's going to be a link to a cheat sheet to get you to the top 10, not top nine, the top 10 outcome measures that I expect to come up on the MPTE. All right. So check your show notes, click the link and go get it. For those of you on here right now, live, baby, what I want you to do is I want you to think about your examination score on your practice exams. I mean, have you seen that you're not getting so high on your examination, you know, area, your examination section? Do you need help with that? Because if you need the top 10 outcome measures, I want you to comment down in the box right now that pass is the only outcome. Pass is the only outcome. And I want you to say that to yourself, baby, because January 29th, we're taking over. Let's get it.